So with Ant-Man and the Wasp being in a very weird situation where it's a film releasing after Avengers Infinity War and that insane ending, people are naturally going to go into this movie looking for a good standalone movie, but also maybe hoping for some answers considering it's the next chapter. And with how crowds these days are, they're going to just assume that this is like the next one in line, so they're hoping for more answers. And it doesn't seem like we're going to be getting quite everything that we want, but much like the rest of the MCU, there will be nods to exactly what happens with certain aspects that carried over from Infinity War. So when talking about the fact that Ant-Man finds himself in a weird position compared to everybody else. He's still on house arrest, which many of the other characters that appeared in Avengers Infinity War are not. He wasn't one that went along and worked with Captain America under Black Ops being on the run or everything, you know. He wanted to stay home with his daughter. He wanted to try to be there for her. So he's had quite a bit of time away from the whole superhero thing. And going into Avengers Infinity War, that's why he wasn't there. But now that the movie is out, this movie is going to slowly build up towards what happens in Infinity War, which I think many people are taking as a confirmation of by the time this movie is over, we're going to have a complete story. But the post credit scene is probably going to be the one that we see the exact extent of Infinity War happening. And I think the way and the reason many people believe this and want it to happen is because they want to see somebody turn to dust. Because if there's been one complaint about... I guess the Netflix shows and Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., it's that, oh, it ends and not everybody turns to dust, which I guess on the movie side, this would be a lot easier to tackle. And then on the TV side, they said, oh, every single season up until Avengers 4 takes place before that happens. So you kind of understand how they have to kind of, I guess, keep in pace with it without going too far ahead. So yeah, this is like a confirmation. Look, we're going to touch upon it, but it's not a central theme in our movie. Which makes sense, because making it a central theme would be dumb, because, well, they weren't important. They didn't go fight on an alien planet. They weren't even there for the Battle of New York. So, it's got to be its own standalone thing, but it's also got to mention it. 